Hi, my name is Beth Hiley, here for Board Game Geek at Origins 2018. I'm sitting down with Scott Tepper from Rio Grande Games. Hi, Beth. Hello. And we've got Trans Europa between we us. We do. So, Trans Europa is a revised reprint. Um, we have a very popular game called Trans America, a very popular family game. Uh, we did come up with Trans Europa years ago, and then it went out of stock, and it, it stayed out of stock for quite a while, we decided to bring it back with some changes. Um, it's actually, so it's not exactly the same old Trans Europa. We've made new some and a new and improved <laughs> Trans Europa. Um, well, let's give people a taste as if they'd never experienced Trans Europa before, and then maybe at the end we can highlight what Never experienced Trans Europa or Trans America? Well, let's do both. Let's assume okay. someone's never played a trans location yeah. game. It, it's, it's actually a really easy game. At the beginning of the game, there's multiple cards in five different zones of the board, and we've got them represented by these different colors. So everyone will take, will draw randomly a yellow card, a red card, an orange card, a green card, and a blue card. So they'll have one in each of the different areas of the board. Their objective is, through a rail network, to be the first person to connect their five cities. So they're going to have them hidden. Other people will not know what their cities are. They'll be trying to lay tracks and connect to other people's tracks to connect their cities before anybody can connect their their city. I said they're there, <laughs> meaning to be people. Sorry about that. Okay. On your, so let's just say these were my cities. Those were your cities, um, even though it's done randomly at the beginning of the game. Um, I then... On my first turn, if I am the red player, I can choose my starting city anywhere where I want it to be. So if maybe these are the ones I'm connecting and I don't even know, I didn't pay attention to what they are, but for whatever reason, let's say I decided to start there. I can start there or on a city. Then on my turn, I can lay one or two black traps on the board. Um, you'll notice there's representations of train routes all over the board. If there's a single line, I can play one track. Um, uh, so if I want to lay two tracks on my turn, I could do one, two, for example, or one, two. All the tracks that I lay must be connected to my starting piece somehow. Um, if I am going over a, a double difficult. line, like a mountain or river like this, I can only, well not two, close, <laughs> um, you lay one track, it takes one track, but you can only lay one track on your turn over double one. If you wanted to, I guess for representation, you could put down two to show that's those are the two. Yeah, it's just a track. more expensive okay. turn. So in that respect, that's just like regular Transamerica, the first person um, uh, who connects their five cities, they basically won the round, and then everybody else calculates how many more tracks they would have to lay to, to connect their five the cities. Now, I'll say, let's say this is my connecting city, and maybe you would start it there, blah, 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 and these were the route, like this during the game, and maybe on my turn, I needed to connect there. That was my last, my yeah, city that I need to connect to. If I lay that track, I'm now connected through your track. Totally acceptable. Yeah. Maybe I won that round. You then maybe needed three more track. You figure out what's the minimum number of tracks that you would need to lay. So let's say it was, you needed three more. You would then move your train one, two, three. Okay? Um, when somebody has, you play multiple rounds, the rounds are pretty quick. Yeah. Like five, ten minutes. You play until somebody falls off the end of the earth. <laughs> That's not in the rules. Falls off the end of the earth. And the person who's closest to the station will win the game. Um, so that's Transamerica. The difference in Trans Europa is uh, we have some of these spaces. Um, these are ferry lines, these the green double squiggle lines. So with those, each player in this game has three of their colored um, tracks. And you can only lay one of these tracks at a time over these double squiggles, okay? So I could maybe lay that here, and then I could also lay uh, a black track if I want to on my turn, or just lay that. Um, later on in the turn, somebody else could lay a black track there, or they could lay their own color track there, or if this was me on my turn, I could conceivably lay one of my other tracks here. If it is... <clears throat> If I'm the one who plays both of the tracks over the ferry, I'm the only one who can use that route to cross it. Mm -hmm. If it's shared by two players, those are the only, only two, two colors. colors. If somebody has laid a black track over there, then anyone can use including that route, red. including red. 
So, um, but they can only be crossed if there are two lines over there. So if there's only one, I still haven't connected across it. Interesting. So there's a little strategy in how you use these you spend to get across the ferries to monopolize it, but that's an expensive in turns. That's fun Correct. critical decision making. And if you'll notice, all of the yellow cities can only be accessed by using ferries in some way. Maybe you don't have to use the ferry, but it, it, somebody else, you can maybe make use of somebody else's with ferries. So that's that's what makes it a little bit different than trans. It's a little bit, a little bit more. Thinky yeah. than Transamerica. It adds another notch to the game. Well, and I, I just wanted to highlight too that um, you know, for anyone who <laughs> this game has great colorblindness support. Yes. Because all of the different regions are also represented by a symbol. Yep. So you do not have to rely on these color zones whatsoever. Yep. Um, and now I'm noticing a couple of these have a little uh, uh, extra highlight around them. Those are those are removed for um, uh, less than. Less than. Yeah. Well, I think I'm really glad that this is made it back into print Thanks. with a few new additions <laughs> so you guys haven't checked out i mean i feel like this is one of those core games like everyone should play trans america at some point in well, their gaming you. career I, but i feel the same way but <laughs> 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 but certainly you could add trans europa to your uh, arsenal of things to try and scott thanks you so much for letting us my pleasure thanks for letting us talk about it beth thanks all